Sometimes when we do an insert, we want to insert values for some of the columns and not all of them. So there's a few things that we could do. For example, here's the customer's table. And you'll notice the region can be null in the customer's table. It looks like uh, the facts can be null as well. So I could do uh, insert into customer, whoops, customers um, values. Looks like I have to do it in customer ID. So I don't know, Jamie K and company name, Newmont, and so on and so forth, etc. Okay, so so I have two options. I could I could supply a value for all these things. Or I can say, you know what, let's um let's do J King for the customer ID. Let's let's see if we can just do a few. So few columns, not all of them. But when I want to do just a few columns, I could put null here to insert null explicitly. Or I could just say, you know what, forget it. I'm going to tell you exactly what columns I want to insert values into. So I'm not quite sure on the um, customer schema of this table here what's nullable and what's not. But we'll probably find out here. Customer ID. Um, let's do company name. Uh, let me just bring this to a new line so that you can see it. And then um, let's do contact name. <clears throat> let's just try doing those three columns. So the columns that I list up here, and I can list them in any order. Basically, my values down here have to match. So, so um, Newmont has to match company name, and let's do Jamie here for contact name. Um, oopsie, let me spell my name without all caps. Uh, if I moved comp contact name over here, I mean it'd be kind of heinous, but I could do that. But then, um, if I want Jamie to be the value inserted into that column, I need to move it with it. So, anyway, hopefully you get the idea that I can specify column names here, or I can leave them off. If I leave them off, then I have to put nulls in, and it just inserts values in the order that the column names are listed in the schema. So, customer ID's first company name, that kind of thing. Let's run this and uh, see what happens. So, I'll query executed successfully. So, let's select flat from customers. Uh, scroll down to the bottom. I'm not seeing my new record here. Let's just uh, drop a where clause in here, see if we can find it. Where customer ID equals J King. And highlight all this. Run that. There I am. So Jamie Newmont King. Ah, looks. So it inserted null into all these for us. So anyway, that's that's another syntax for insert into. And then of course I don't have to say values. I could replace this whole values and these explicit values with a select clause that returns the proper types and the proper column orders with the data hopefully that I want in there. So anyway, just a little bit different syntax there with, with insert.